Imagine a quiet April morning in the USA suddenly interrupted by an extraordinary sight, the appearance of the four biblical horsemen of the end times. That's right, on April 8, 2024, people across the country were stunned as these iconic figures from Revelation manifested in the sky. The white horse symbolizes conquest, the red horse represents war, the black horse signifies famine, and the pale horse embodies death. These horses all capture observers with their powerful imagery. It's a scene straight out of prophecy, sparking awe and curiosity among onlookers as they contemplate the significance of this celestial event. So let's dive into this video today to know more about the profound implications and possible meanings behind this extraordinary occurrence. In North St. Louis County, people have reported hearing a strange noise. The source of this noise is still unclear, and they've reached out to authorities for help. Similarly, residents northeast of Oklahoma City have been disturbed by a loud, high-pitched noise at night. What's crazy is nobody knows where it's coming from. Across the globe, from Brazil to Japan, people are seeing extraordinary sights in the sky. These aren't just clouds. They're images that remind us of ancient stories, like the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This symbolism has fascinated people for centuries. The Bible has a passage from Revelation 6, too, about a white horse. Nowadays, people are seeing things in the sky that seem like a modern interpretation of this story. These sightings make us think deeply about life and faith, especially in times of uncertainty. These sky sightings aren't just coincidences. They remind us of historical cycles and the enduring hope found in faith. Instead of panicking, we should reflect on what these ancient prophecies mean for us today. Revelation talks about these horsemen vividly, a white horse symbolizing conquest, a red horse representing war, a black horse linked to famine, and a pale horse symbolizing death. These symbols aren't just stories, they reflect patterns in human history. What's remarkable is that people all over the world are witnessing these phenomena. Everyone sees these strange figures in the sky from Malaysia to Mexico. It's a global event that captures our imagination and makes us ponder the mysteries of life. These sightings of celestial phenomena and the symbolism they carry aren't just about spiritual beliefs. They intersect with real-world challenges like wars, pandemics, and economic turmoil. It makes us wonder, are we mere observers or active participants in something profound? Understanding the White Horse. The appearance of the White Horse, as mentioned in Revelation 6, 2, sparks both intrigue and caution. This symbolizes deception disguised as conquest. In today's world, we see this in misleading ideologies and charismatic leaders who promise peace but bring conflict instead. They manipulate truth with carefully crafted narratives, leading us astray. In a world flooded with information, truths, half-truths, and fabrications blur. Leaders and ideologies promise peace and prosperity, but at what cost? We must reflect on their characteristics. Are they agents of unity or division? Do they align with the teachings of Christ? We're urged to actively seek truth, guided by discernment and wisdom as followers of faith. John's directive in 1 John 4. One reminds us of our duty to discern and validate what we hear, ensuring it aligns with Christ's teachings. As we ponder the symbolism of the white horse, we must ask ourselves, who are the true agents of peace and justice? How do we recognize them amidst the clamor of conflicting voices? And most importantly, how do we ensure we stand on the side of truth and light? Reflecting on the Red Horse As we delve into the symbolism of the second harbinger, the Red Horse, depicted in Revelation 6, 4, we're confronted with a stark image of war's devastation. This vivid scene paints a picture of chaos and violence, where peace is stripped away and conflict reigns supreme. In the shadow of this prophecy, we're compelled to reflect on the relentless drumbeat of war echoing across our world. From long-standing conflicts in regions torn by disputes to fresh outbreaks of violence making headlines, the specter of war casts a dark shadow, leaving behind destruction and despair. 
Amidst this turmoil, what is our response? Are we mere spectators, or do we hear a call to seek peace and advocate for those caught in the crossfire? As followers of Christ, who bless the peacemakers, our duty is clear. In a world where war seems constant, let us be voices of reconciliation and hands of aid to those in need. As we explore the symbolism of the Red Horse, it's essential to reflect on the cyclical nature of conflict throughout history. From ancient empires to modern-day tensions, the annals of history are filled with tales of conquest and resistance. Yet, amid strife, there are moments of hope, moments when humanity chooses a different path, striving for peace through diplomacy and cooperation. While war often reflects humanity's darkest impulses, it can also spur change and renewal. As we stand in a world where the specter of war still looms large, let us draw lessons from history. Let us reevaluate our values, renew our commitments to peace and justice, and work tirelessly towards a future where swords are beaten into plowshares, understanding the impact of conflict. In today's world, the effects of war reach far beyond the battlefield. From the refugee crisis to the spread of misinformation and environmental damage, conflict's consequences touch communities worldwide. As followers of Christ, called to promote peace in troubled times, it's crucial to learn from history and heed prophetic warnings. When we hear of wars and see the realities of conflict, we choose to remain passive or engage actively. Matthew 24. 6 reminds us not to be alarmed by rumors of wars, but to stay vigilant. Our mission is to be voices of reason, hands of aid, and beacons of hope. Drawing from our faith and the lessons of history, we navigate the complexities of our era, inspired to work for peace. The imagery of the black horse in Revelation 6, 6 confronts us with the economic disparities of our modern world. This horse symbolizes not only famine, but also broader economic inequalities. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated these challenges, revealing vulnerabilities in global supply chains and worsening food insecurity. Even before the pandemic, the divide between the rich and the poor was growing, with millions suffering from chronic hunger. Conflict, climate change, and economic instability further threaten food security, pushing millions into famine and scarcity. As we grapple with these issues, it's essential to recognize the root causes of economic inequality and food insecurity. Beyond individual incomes, access to essential services like nutrition plays a crucial role. While some parts of the world waste food, others face hunger daily. Conflict, climate change, and economic instability worsen these disparities, pushing vulnerable communities into crisis. To address these challenges, we must work together to promote peace, advocate for justice, and ensure access to basic necessities for all. Locusts amidst a pandemic. As the world battles the COVID-19 pandemic, Africa confronts another crisis. Locusts. These small insects threaten food security across the continent. The locust outbreaks in East Africa in 2020 worsened by climate change, destroyed crops, and endangered the food supply of millions. This serves as a stark reminder of how fragile our food systems are. The symbolism of the black horse prompts us to consider how we can address global disparities. This isn't just a task for policymakers. It's a call for every individual to take action. We can advocate for fairer economic systems support sustainable agriculture, and contribute to initiatives combating hunger and poverty. Our Christian faith, with its emphasis on compassion and justice, provides a solid foundation for our response. James 2.15, 16 challenges us to move beyond words and take tangible action to help those in need. Reflecting on the significance of the black horse today, we're reminded of our duty to be agents of change. Whether through supporting local food banks, advocating for policies that address economic inequality, or being mindful of our consumption habits, we can contribute to a more equitable world in many ways. In this era shadowed by the black horse, our mission is clear. 
we must recognize the challenges facing our world and actively work to address them. In doing so, we embody the core teachings of Christ, love, compassion, and justice. By taking meaningful action, we honor these values and contribute to a brighter future for all. Confronting the Pale Horse The Pale Horse stands out within the quartet of apocalyptic riders casting a chilling shadow of death, pandemics, and disease. Revelation 6, 8 introduces us to this harrowing figure symbolizing humanity's deepest fears and existential threats. The world has been engulfed in recent years by an unprecedented health crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic. This silent yet swift virus has spread across the globe, claiming millions of lives and bringing nations to their knees. It embodies the essence of the pale horse, reminding us of our vulnerability to unseen enemies. Pandemics are just one facet of the pale rider's domain. Environmental degradation and climate change also contribute to widespread mortality. These factors exacerbate natural disasters, famine, and disease outbreaks. Events like the Australian wildfires, unprecedented hurricane seasons, and locust swarms in East Africa serve as grim reminders of the deadly impact of a changing climate. Society's response to these crises reveals both resilience and shortcomings. The rapid development of vaccines showcases humanity's innovation and cooperation in the face of existential threats. However, the unequal distribution of vaccines highlights persistent global inequality. The pale horse effortlessly traverses this divide, exposing the stark contrast between privilege and vulnerability. We're called to action as we confront the pale horse and its ominous shadows. We must address the root causes of pandemics and environmental degradation, promoting global cooperation and equitable solutions. In the midst of fear and uncertainty, we've witnessed remarkable acts of courage and compassion. Healthcare workers, community leaders, and ordinary individuals have bravely stepped forward, embodying unity and selflessness. These responses offer a glimmer of hope, showing our ability to confront challenges together. Reflecting on the symbolism of the pale horse, we must understand it as more than a tale of doom. It's a call to action. It prompts us to reevaluate our relationship with the natural world, address inequalities, and build a united global community. James 2.26 reminds us that faith without action is meaningless. In the face of death, pandemics, and environmental crises, our faith compels us to care for the sick, protect the vulnerable, and steward the earth wisely. As we confront these challenges, let us draw strength from our faith and each other. Rather than succumbing to fear, let us be propelled forward with purpose. Unity, compassion, and perseverance can guide us through the darkest valleys and lead us into the light. After the appearance of these horsemen, the fifth seal reveals the cries of martyrs for justice, echoed by voices advocating for human rights worldwide. As the sixth seal breaks, cosmic disturbances shake the heavens and the earth, signaling a shift in the cosmic order. Solar Eclipse and Lunar Tetrads Revelation 6, 12, 17, the upcoming solar eclipse in April 2024, and the lunar tetrads in 2032 serve as contemporary celestial signs, reminding us of the vast mysteries of the universe. They highlight the intricate dance between celestial and terrestrial realms, prompting reflection on our place in the cosmos. Echoes of prophecy in environmental crisis. The blast of the first trumpet heralds ecological destruction, Revelation 8:7 paralleled by the wildfires and natural disasters increasingly prevalent today. These events urge us towards environmental stewardship, emphasizing the urgent need to protect and preserve our planet. The second trumpet sound sees a great mountain of fire cast into the sea. Revelation 8, 8, 9. Reminiscent of oil spills and marine pollution threatening ocean life, this calls for concerted efforts to safeguard our waters, ensuring their health and sustainability. With the third trumpet, wormwood poisons a third of the waters, Revelation 8, 10, 11, symbolizing the pollution of our planet's lifelines, rivers, and freshwater sources. This mirrors the challenges faced in ensuring clean water worldwide, highlighting the importance of environmental conservation. 
The fourth trumpet dims the celestial lights, Revelation 8.12, metaphorically representing the darkening of truth in an age of misinformation. It underscores the critical need for discernment and wisdom amidst a sea of conflicting information. The fifth trumpet unleashes locusts from the abyss, Revelation 9, 1, 11, serving as an allegory for the myriad challenges plaguing societies, from locust invasions affecting crops to metaphorical locusts of pandemic diseases. These events highlight the importance of resilience and cooperation in overcoming societal crises. This imagery prompts reflection on modern warfare and the immense power wielded by advanced military technology. It urges us to ponder the moral implications of such might and encourages deeper consideration of the consequences of armed conflicts. The seventh trumpet announces God's coming kingdom, Revelation 11, 15, 19, serving as a call to hope and perseverance. It reminds us of the eternal promise of renewal and peace offering reassurance amid turbulent times. Revelation 7 4 mentions the sealing of 144,000 individuals from every tribe of the sons of Israel, symbolizing divine protection during times of great tribulation. In today's context, this could represent the resilience and faith of communities facing adversities, remaining steadfast in their beliefs. The two witnesses described in Revelation 11 3, 12, are empowered to prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. They symbolize God's message of repentance and redemption, facing opposition but ultimately being vindicated. This may be reflected in voices rising against injustice, advocating for truth and environmental stewardship. Like the two witnesses, these figures champion causes like climate change awareness, social justice, and ethical governance, embodying the essence of prophetic witness in the public square. Reflection on our roles in facing challenges. In the face of challenges, from climate crises to societal inequalities, the spirit of the 144,000 and the two witnesses invites us to reflect on our roles. It prompts us to consider how we can contribute to positive change, standing up for justice and truth in our communities and beyond. Are we among the protected, marked by our efforts to safeguard creation and uplift the marginalized? Do we stand as witnesses to the truth, using our voices and actions to bring light into darkness? Consider the movements that have emerged globally, driven by a collective awakening to the urgent need for change. From youth-led climate strikes advocating for environmental justice to waves of people demanding accountability and reform in governance and societal structures, these movements embody modern-day witnesses tirelessly advocating for a future where justice and peace prevail. As we reflect on these symbols and their manifestations, let's also contemplate the significance of the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, and the lunar tetrads in 2032 as cosmic signposts. Just as these celestial events prompt wonder and reflection, the prophetic visions of Revelation encourage us to look beyond the immediate to the deeper currents shaping our world. They remind us of the power of faith, hope, and action to forge paths of righteousness and healing in a troubled world. In this narrative of seals, trumpets, witnesses, and celestial signs, we're reminded of the interconnectedness of all things. Our actions, imbued with purpose and conviction, can weave threads of light through the tapestry of these prophetic times. As we navigate the complexities of our era, let us draw strength from our faith, engage with hope, and commit to meaningful action for the betterment of our world. Let us move forward with the courage of the 144,000, the fervor of the two witnesses, and the awe inspired by the heavens above. Together, we step forward not in fear, but with the resolve to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with our God. Micah 6.8 As we reflect on the visions and prophecies within the pages of Revelation, we find a narrative of trials and tribulations and a powerful promise of God's ultimate triumph over evil. This is a story that culminates in a victory of good that has been foretold. 
a victory that resonates deeply within the hearts of believers worldwide. Behold, I make all things new, declares the Lord in Revelation 21.5, a statement that echoes with hope and renewal. This promise of a new creation, free from sorrow, pain, and death, is not merely a distant dream, but a guiding light for us in the present turmoil. It reminds us that despite the shadows that may fall, the light of God's goodness and justice will prevail. The Critical Role of Christians in Uncertain Times In this era marked by global challenges and uncertainties, the role of Christians is more critical than ever. We are called to be ambassadors of this hope, to embody the love and resilience that our faith teaches us. This means fostering unity in a world often divided. It involves reaching across the lines that separate us to find common ground in the love of Christ. Engaging in acts of charity is another vital aspect of our calling. In a world where poverty, hunger, and injustice persist, believers' generosity and compassion can make a tangible difference. Whether it's supporting local food banks, participating in community cleanup efforts, or advocating for social justice, these actions reflect the teachings of Jesus, who said, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Matthew 25, 40. Moreover, embodying the principles of our faith amidst global turmoil involves not just acts of charity, but also a commitment to living out our values every day. It means choosing love over hate, peace over conflict, and grace over judgment. It's about being a source of comfort and support to those around us, offering a listening ear, a helping hand, or a word of encouragement. Throughout history, communities of faith have faced periods of adversity, yet they have also been sources of immense hope, resilience, and transformation. From the early Christians who spread the message of love in a hostile empire, to the countless believers today who work tirelessly for peace and justice, the spirit of the gospel has proven to be a powerful force for good in the world. During the complexities of our times, let us draw strength from the promise of God's triumph over evil. Let us be inspired by the hope of a new creation where tears are wiped away and peace reigns supreme. Let us embrace our role in this divine narrative, committing ourselves to acts of love, charity, and unity reflecting our faith's heart. As we draw our journey through prophecy and present-day parallels to a close, let us continue to be beacons of light and agents of positive change in our communities and the world. So what do you think of these four biblical horsemen of the end time appearing in the U.S. sky? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.